Hi, this is Mike Hendrickson from Sprata Hadoop World in New York. We're here at the Javits Center with Leo Spiegel. Leo, how you doing? Great. So you're a senior vice president and strategist with Pivotal. Correct. And Pivotal's been around 18 months or so, almost two years. Yeah. Going 18. on, going on two years. Yeah, it'll be. Uh, we were formed April 1st of last year, and uh, I, th I think as everyone remembers, we're uh, a spin out of a bunch of technologies out of EMC and VMware. Okay. And do you see a lot of change happening since that, you know, when you started 18 months ago to where you are now in the industry? Yeah, so a lot of change in the industry and I think a lot of change in Pivotal. I mean, okay. uh, you know, with respect to the uh, industry, you know, I, I think we've all moved in a much more positive way toward uh, driving open source and enhancing open source, not just as a tool for developers, but really as a, a methodology or a rallying cry around the industry to build an ecosystem that really helps enterprises and customers leverage the best technologies in the world. Um, from Pivotal's perspective, I, I, you know, we uh, announced earlier this year and in December we'll officially stand up the Cloud Foundry Foundation. It's based on our PaaS platform as a service technology, Cloud Foundry, which we've now given to the industry and all the leading players in the industry, including IBM, HP, uh, SAP, Rackspace, uh, Intel, uh, Alpine, I mean, many, many different companies, 35 of them have endorsed our technology, and, and we really want to, to really make it open and get customers comfortable with the fact that this technology is, is available to them, and it's really, in many ways, really, you know, we like to think of ourselves as the open cloud company, and Cloud Foundry is almost like the operating system of the cloud. So as an open source uh, set of technologies, you, you've got a, a path to the cloud, and you also have a cloud offering that's kind of open and uh, yes. not uh, too expensive, or? Yeah, I mean, it's subscription-based, and, uh, and it's a combination of our, our Cloud Foundry technology, our version of it's called Pivotal CF, and then it's our data technologies. And you know, I, you know we've been in the data business a very long time. Uh, you know, two of the key assets that helped form Pivotal were a company called Greenplum and, yeah. uh, and a company called Gem. And obviously, we have our own Hadoop distribution, Pivotal HD, but in addition to that, um, you know, what we have is some amazing technologies that really extend the capabilities of Hadoop. And I think everyone you know, knows that MapReduce is really cool, but it's you know, Java and complicated, and most enterprises don't have the capability to leverage MapReduce, but what they really have the capability to leverage is SQL. And our Greenplum technology, which has now been refactored to run on top of Hadoop through a technology we call Hawk, is you know, the most powerful SQL-based technology on the planet. And then what we have is GEM, which is our in-memory technology, mm -hmm. and that's now also running on top of our Hadoop distribution. And, and even on the, uh, the big data side, we've really leaned into open source. I mean, we've been very involved in a variety of ways in the open source communities around Apache. Uh, earlier this year, we announced we're partnering with Hortonworks on Embari. Um, at this show, we announced um, that you know there, there's the old saying that you know sort of um, you know uh, disk is dead. You know now it's all about you know um, you know flash, uh, flash. Yeah. and uh, and you know we think that you know where where big data goes is basically into memory, and so we're big big proponents of Tachyon, which is a new project around open source. We are the leading corporation committing people to Tachyon, and Tachyon's really about building applications or solutions that really run in memory and, and really transform corporations. So we're really excited about what's going on in the industry. I think it's a, a great opportunity. I mean, I often joke that on any given day I might compete in the morning with IBM and then be talking to them in the afternoon on how we can collaborate on open source. So let me ask you this though. Um, if, if there was a small startup that wanted to get going and they have a data play and they, they want to build their company, do they start with you? Who, who do they start, where do they start? I mean, do you have an offering for small all the way to massive, large scale Absolutely. enterprise yeah, people? Yeah, I mean, our, one of the other big components of, of Pivotal is a, a part of our company called Pivotal Labs. And Pivotal Labs is really the, the preeminent developer of agile software projects. And so we have about 550 agile developers inside of Pivotal, and they've worked with all the leading startups in the world to help them build, actually, their solutions for their companies. And then they can take advantage of our stack, which includes you know, basically our past technology and our data technologies, and it's priced very competitively. One of the cool things on our data side is we just felt like the way people were charging for big data solutions was broken. 
I mean, the conventional wisdom is you charge based on how much you store, yep. right? Because that's yep. how the database world works. Yeah. But it's it's not it's not in the interest of the customer, right? What we want is we want the customer to store everything. That's the that's the promise of Hadoop, right? You know, structured, unstructured, semi-structured data, all in this one container. But if you're penalized for storing stuff, it makes no sense. So the way we charge for our data stack is based on the number of cores. So it's how much processing you do on the data. Access to and then it. that's yep. when you get value. Yep. So I, I think that's another innovation that Pivotal's bringing to the market is really trying to get all of us in this industry to recognize that every application or solution a company builds needs to be data intensive and analytic intensive. And we need to, and we need to teach big enterprises how to do that, and that's really the journey that Pivotal's on. We really are a transformation agent. We're working with some of the most interesting companies on the planet, helping them to get to this third paradigm of computing, which is all about you know, big data, social, mobile, and the cloud, and we have this you know, cloud platform that enables that to happen, and then we, we teach them how to fish by basically helping them build these next generation applications. So, I mean, you know, a major sports league, you know, I can't mention their name, you know, we've built their latest applications. Uh, a major company in the, um, you know, the farming industry, we're building a system for them to figure out how to double the amount of food you can grow in a single part of land. Uh, you know, all the work we do at GE is very well publicized. They're an investor in our company. They're a huge partner. They're transforming the world. I mean, they're really leading the internet of things and the platform that the GE solution runs on top of is Pivotal. So I, I think we're doing some pretty exciting things and, and hopefully, you know, building a great company, which we want to do, but I think more importantly, as our CEO, Paul Moritz says, I think hopefully we're making the world a better place by, you know, really enabling, uh, uh, using technology for good, which is a big part of our culture. So using technology for good, if you could use uh, all the resources at your disposal, what would you apply it to to make the world a better place? What is the problem that you would attack? Yeah, I mean, it's. A, I mean, I, I think it's cancer. I mean, for me, I mean, I, I don't so know a person. Research, in, yeah, I don't yeah. know a person in the world who hasn't you been know, touched. Been touched by it. Yeah. Um, you know, I think what big data has done to DNA sequencing, and you know, when you go, we, we have a bunch of customers in that industry and you know what they're able to do now leveraging analytics and these technologies um, I, I think it's um, I think we're just on the verge of, of it so that's for me for personally I mean but you know it gets I mean I'll tell you another one of our customers it's a great story I mean it, it, you know basically it's uh, you know in you know in Chinese New Year basically um, two almost 250 million people within four days use the China railways and they were struggling to scale, to really keep up with that volume. And I was talking about this in-memory stuff, which I think is really the future in Tachyon, but leveraging our gem in-memory technology, I mean, we're able to allow them to scale to massive numbers of, of consumers. So it touches all our lives, I mean, in so many different ways. And at the same time, you're seeing industries being remade. I mean, you know, what is Uber doing to taxi cabs? Yeah, yeah. You know, what did uh, Amazon Disruption. do to Borders? Yeah, yeah. You know, Netflix to, uh, you know, uh, you know, Blockbuster. I mean, I mean, the whole world is changing around us and technology and software is what's enabling it to happen. So it's a cool time to do what we're doing. Excellent. Leo, thank you for your time. This has been great. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you.